younger than Neil, do you know him? <laughs> yes, he's a lot younger than me. <laughs> <laughs> well, my next guest was behind the times for many years. But now, let's get up to date with Andrew Neil. You ain't nothing but a the other old man coming on? Uh, Paul Daniels. Oh, Paul Daniels. <laughs> it's an old man special. <laughs> so what am I doing here? Oh, very funny. You're the dad of them all, aren't you? No, I was in shorts when he was doing the match of the day. <laughs> but that was just by choice. You were, <laughs> you were in your fifties. No, it's because it's because uh, it's because my mother found me in my dress and she made me change. <laughs> you know, it's lovely to have a, an intellectual like you, and especially after Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> it's well, quite a contrast. It is, isn't it? Of course, the viewers can handle it. You were the editor of the Sunday Times, weren't you, for Sunday a say. long time? Did you enjoy it? I thought it was great. Did Best you? job in the country. Do you love Even it? Even better than doing much of the day. <laughs> yeah. All oh, right. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I did enjoy it. I mean, I always found that paper a little bit stuffy. You know, there's no bingo in it, is there? <laughs> well, there was. Actually, I mean, there was. Was there? There was, but it was with share prices. Well. <laughs> but, you know, royalty, you know, I mean, who wants to read all the time about intimate bedroom secrets of Prince Charles and Camilla Bowles? I'll tell you, me and no. Sylvia. <laughs> <laughs> and about another 12 million as well. Just, <laughs> biggest think... circulation, the biggest sales day we ever had was the day we started the Andrew Morton book on Princess Diana. Oh, yes, that was marvellous. Sells papers. Do you like royalty yourself? Um, are they watching? <laughs> oh, yes, they're here. <laughs> you see them in the conga. <laughs> but, do you like royalty, really? Um, not much, no. Why, do you think we should get rid of the monarchy? No, I, I think there's a difference between the monarchy and the House of Windsor. There isn't. Is there, there is. <laughs> is there Jimmy? Uh, well, they're not yeah. Scottish, I know that. No. <laughs> no, actually, mate, they're more Scottish than English. Yeah. There's no English blood in them at all, except for Princess Diana. They're mainly German. If they're German, we should get them in the football team. <laughs> Yeah, but but I, don't think, I don't think any of them is eligible to play for England. <laughs> but the papers, it's all sex, 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 isn't it? Is that what you're paying for, Andrew Neil? I've never paid. <laughs> well, these days I might have to pay for it. <laughs> but That's what sells papers. I mean, the reason why we sell one and a quarter million and the news of the world sells almost five million is sex 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 but tell me this you've never <laughs> married have you i don't think so no you're a real don one a casanova a real life des barnes <laughs> from coronation street oh i've never seen him what is your is massive nice? appeal with the ladies, do you think, Andrew Neil? <laughs> well, I always had the biggest organ on a Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was, they both fancy me tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but you know who would be nice for you? Carol Vordman. Because she can add up. She's she? easy on the eye. Calm down. Calm down. Oh, I've never seen that. Have you not? No. She'd be lovely for you. Yeah? So you put but a word in for me. I will. But let's, Didn't let's... she do Tomorrow's World for a while? Yes, she did. I used she to do Tomorrow's did. World. Did you? Did. Oh, we don't remember that. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about Europe. Are you oh, well, that's the, the ratings are now plummeting. <laughs> you know, are you for... Television sets are switched off all over the nation. Are you for or against Europe? What do you think? I, don't, I want to stay in Europe, yeah. Do you? Yeah. What about Britain as a whole? I like Britain. I love do Britain. Do you? In fact, I think we should be calling it Great Britain again. Do you think the Instead government are doing enough for the individual? Mm, I think government does too much. Do you? Absolutely. Sure, I could talk politics all day, I really could. <laughs> but let's get back to why you're not married. <laughs> let's take a 
make a typical evening for a typical you. Overnight. Yes, you sat at home, you've got a smoking jacket on, a glass of brandy, a Havana cigars in the ashtray, and Pavarotti's on your hi-fi, and you've got... I hope not, it'd break. <laughs> oh, it would <won't> be. <laughs> and you've got... To be through the floor to the neighbours. <laughs> You've got two pieces of Terry's chocolate orange left. <laughs> In an ideal world, who would you give that other piece to? Oh, I'd keep them for myself. <laughs> 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 I mean, who's good enough to share one of these Terry slices with? Um, I mean... Carol Vordman. <laughs> 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 no, I've just thought. Count oh, affairs, what I Angela Rippin. <laughs> you know, and she's a good dancer too. Keep on going. Can we do better than this, do we? No. No, but, oh, right. now you know why I'm single then. <laughs> I think we all do. But... <laughs> Have you got an allotment? <laughs> because I was thinking you could get out and about, meet people of your own age. <laughs> That's why I've come on this show. <laughs> But have you never thought of going, no. <laughs> of going into politics, you know, full time? When I was at university, I wanted to go into politics, yeah. Because I think you've got everything it takes to become a member of the cabinet, you know. I see you in that David Mellor Cecil Parkinson role. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? The insults are flying tonight. <laughs> And that's interesting you picked two politicians who've been involved in sex scandals as well. Do you know, did I? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, oh yes, they did, didn't they? But, well, let's talk about sex scandals oh, then. Oh, right, good, there we go. I'm feeding you the lines. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, things like Hugh Grant, it was all over the papers, wasn't oh, it? The popular story. press, it was. Great story. But who in their right mind would go with a prostitute? <laughs> <laughs> But and pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> Hugh Grant. Hugh Grant. <laughs> you know, you're hilarious. <laughs> you all right, Jimmy? I'm fine, yes. Enjoying I'm fine. it. Fine. It's absolutely you fascinating. You just noticed Jimmy's trousers. <laughs> oh, has he still got them on? No, but they're very, very <laughs> televisual, aren't they? <laughs> different, aren't they? Yeah. Anyway, who would like to ask Andrew Neil a question? Anne, oh, Anne, oh, oh, Anne, what would you like? Oh, I get the news of the world, Mr Neil. You do? But I don't get it for the sex, I get it for the bingo. <laughs> <laughs> She's She's telling porky pies. <laughs> you are going over all these sex among the soap stars. Go, Ooh, yes. I bet you you're one of these people that buys the Sunday Times and when nobody's looking, you can slip the news of the world into the That's middle right. and you walk out the news agent. You're getting on very well, oh, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> I've turned into blind, eh? <laughs> Will you come back next week and tell us how you got on? <laughs> Where are you sending us to? <laughs> We're not going to Skegness, I'm telling you. That's no? Not at this time of year. Are you caught at the moment? No. No? I think you are. <laughs> but I could be after tonight. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, will you thank Andrew Neil? songs good and bad and they were all good weren't they yes. what's wrong with the music business let's have a heated debate <laughs> <laughs> what's your favorite song oh here? i liked elvis elvis oh, it elvis. was marvelous yeah. and it's a shame he's dead yeah. anyway <laughs> <laughs> i mean music nowadays mick hock no have you seen him jean yeah <laughs> he was a big sweet in your gob. <laughs> but you know, he's got all that long red hair. It's like Bonnie Langford gone to seed, isn't it? Very true. What are you true. sucking on? Uh, what are we sucking? <laughs> Treacle toffee. Treacle toffee, lovely. <laughs> but nothing to do with the music business, no. really. <laughs> but who knows this one? Oh, I do like, like to, to be beside the seaside. 